Hey everyone, so this book is written by Adam Grant, who is a Horton School of Business professor. He is the youngest tenured professor there, and he is also one of the highest rated professors there. Now, as the name of the book suggests, this book is about originals and how people were able to set new trends. So these are people who decided, you know what, I don't like the way things are, and I'm going to change it in the way that I think it should be. Now, this book is divided up into eight core chapters, and each chapter is just a wealth of knowledge. Now, a lot of the stuff that I've read in this book is I've never seen it elsewhere. So this book is quite interesting because they kind of go through a lot of things that I personally have never read before. Now, two of the most interesting things that I read in this book, well, I wouldn't say most interesting, but two interesting things that I read in this book is number one is your birth order matters. What does that mean? Well, they looked at the top MLB base stealers and they found that uh, they found out that a lot of them were the youngest in their family. So a lot of them had siblings older than them. So brothers or sisters. And in fact, they, came from a families where they had numerous brothers and sisters old or older brothers and sisters and they kind of concluded that the reason for this is that the younger you are the more willing you're the more willing you're going to take risks and the reason for that is because you have brothers and sisters and parents to kind of model and coddle you so they, these, uh, the younger you are, the more willing you are to take these risks. So that was the first thing. The second thing is the more ambivalent relationships that you have, the lower your quality of life. So ambivalent relationships are basically relationships where people treat you positively and negatively towards you. So it's the same person who kind of treats you in both ways. It's just like a switch. They treat you nice and then not so nice. So they actually found out that these relationships are worse than having relationships that are just pure negative towards you. So th what does this mean? Well, for yourself, if you have people who are trying or treating you negatively and positively and you it doesn't make you feel good well there's a reason for that and you got to cut them out of your life because they actually cause you more stress and lower quality of life so these people are worse off than the people who are just straight negative towards you so just cut these people out of your life because they're no good for your health all right well anyways thank you for watching and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my website at www.bookstakeaway.com. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.